on the inside being headed by Altivo and Seymour Jasper's going forward in a hurry. Buffalo Magic is going to uh, just ease behind them. Sometimes when things go horribly wrong, you know in your own heart and soul that you've done everything you can and the easier it becomes to accept death. It's a wonderful thing to watch a little foal be born and take its first breaths. I start at seven at night and work through till seven in the morning. In the wild, no matter what animal it is, they have their young then. By the time the daylight predators are out and about, the young can be up and suckling and running with the herd. If the mayor needs assistance, you lend all the assistance you can. If everything can happen naturally, you're better off. I've been doing it for 30 odd years. The younger ones that are learning the night watch trade, they get nervous and all that, but I'm more mature and more calm. And... The nights when you're busy and you're having two, three foals, that breaks your night. The long, slow nights that you don't have them can be tedious, but you've got to keep very alert because there is only that small window of opportunity from when the foaling process starts until you have to have the foal out. comes out, you clear, clear its nostrils and get all the muck and stuff out and then you know that it's breathing normally and everything's right. I've just milked a bit of colostrum out of the mare, so I'm just going to put this into the fold. 